paintbrush, a knife. Tamari, liquid smoke, smoked paprika, tempeh, and maple syrup. Oh, hello darlings, how are you? Ladiva here. Now, I don't want to make this too confusing, but I have another recipe called Babe Love and Bacon. And it's very quick and easy. Uh, it's basically exactly what we're going to do, except that you make it on a skillet. This one is baked, which I thought, I'll just mention you can bake it. But someone got really confused about the two of that, so I said, all right, I'm just going to have to do two different recipes. So this is basically the same recipe, except we're going to bake it. And I like this better. I use the other one. I've used that for brunches. I've used it for sandwiches and stuff, and it's great. But this one, this one really is this is when you're thinking that smoky bacon flavor salty thingy this is the one so it's really quick and easy just like the other one so let's get started all right darlings to bake this bacon you gotta turn on the oven say it with me Ooh, baby get so hot like 300 degrees fahrenheit yeah oh you're just going to get really hot. And then if that doesn't work, you know, push the button. All right, start by cutting the tempeh into th very thin strips. All right, I'm going to paint them with tamari. A little liquid smoke to everybody. And make sure I paint that in. And now I'm going to put on my this is smoked paprika. Now, if you have people who like spicy, spicy, I would use smoked chipotle. <gasps> it smells so good! All right, and then you want to just kind of paint that lightly. I'm going to paint them with maple syrup. You need some kind of liquid sweetener. Um, you could use brown rice syrup. I happen to like our local maple syrup. So you put it on this side, and then it will glop onto the other side all by itself when you see this. Okay, so now you want to flip all these over. You're going to do the same thing to the other side. And then we're just going to let it sit. Now, all right, darlings. Now, I had put some liquid in here so that this would marinate, but it obviously has been soaking it all up. So I'm just going to put in just a touch more, paint everything, just to make sure that it stays moist. There we go. See, just paint everything again, just to make sure that it stays nice and moist. Now I'm just going to take the bacon and I'm going to bake it at 300 degrees for about 25 minutes. I'll check it in 15. Make sure that you have it uncovered. Oh, hey everybody, Marty Davy here. Um, the bacon. Well, one of the biggest differences between having a bacon made out of an animal and a bacon made out of tempeh is that the one that has tempeh doesn't have the fat and has a boatload of fiber. That's a really good plan. Fiber works like a broom and it cleans out your intestinal tract. That means it picks up stuff that your body doesn't need along the way. Great idea. Save, babe. Okay, darlings, now this is my baked bacon, and I think this is much better. I mean, I like the other stuff, the stuff that I have that's pan fried. I think it's fantastic, and it's great. If you don't have a whole lot of time, it works. It tastes fantastic. It's great in sandwiches. But to me, this is really the baby. Mmm. It has its smoky flavor all the way through. Yep, this would be perfect for bacon bits. The other one is okay. This to me is more perfect because it has the flavor going all the way through it. You want to cut it really thin, more like the thickness of a rasher than that super, super thin bacon. But, uh, oh my gosh, this is really, really good. This is perfect. This stands up in a sandwich really, really well, but it works well in a salad. Oh, and you can crumble it on top of anything. Mmm. Mm-hmm. If you have the time, this is the way to go.